Headlining, all right. Um, I got here like an hour ago. I flew in from Canada. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, so I'm kind of like an illegal immigrant at the moment. Working here, headlining at the uh, Velveeta Room. I haven't seen anything in Austin except for death metal and pizza and here, so uh, things are good. Being Canadian, uh, it's cold up there a lot, so we have a lot of snow. We walked out of the bar like, a couple days ago, and uh, my buddies and I we were roaring drunk, just trashed. We walked out of the bar, and there was like 15 centimeters, I mean like, I don't know, like a sixth of a yard of snow on the ground. <laughs> One ten thousandth of a mile of snow was on the ground, fresh, wet snow, and we were just drilled, and we're like, yes, awesome. If the streets were packed, it was right at closing time, we're all packing snowballs, we're throwing snowballs. And like any big city, there's bums around, and they're always asking for free things. So we're packing snowballs, we're standing there, getting ready for the next barrage across the street. And Buddy comes up, you know, a real tough on his luck type guy, and he goes, walks up to me, and he's like, hey, can I have one of those? And I'm standing there with a pile of snowballs. My whole life, just not, not really hating homeless guys, but you know when bums just sort of ask for nothing, they don't really do anything fun. And I've got all this, like, rage built inside me, and I'm like... Oh, I really don't want to give this guy anything. But for the first time in my life, I'm very happy to admit that I gave the bum exactly what he was looking for. Um, not only that, we exceeded his expectations. We gave him higher numbers of snowballs than he wanted and a lot higher velocity. <laughs> snowballs are Mother Nature's gray area of assault. Please bless them. Um, but I noticed you guys don't have much snow here. It's really hot, so I guess I don't have homeless people. Um, <laughs> the uh, how about some bathroom humor? You guys like toilet humor? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, well, I had to do number one the other day, so I went to the urinal, and I'm standing there. Things were getting underway, so I had a little time to look around, and I looked down in the urinal mat. You know those things they hold the urinal pocket in? It's kind of like a breath mint, peppermint, you know, chlorine type deal thing down there, and. Uh, it's holding it in, and written on this urinal mat are the words, say no to drugs. And I, first I thought of it like, oh, what is this? Like the cops trying to, you know, be the man and everything. But then I started realizing, if you're so hard up on your life, in your life, that you're staring at a urinal mat that's getting a golden shower, and you're even remotely considering taking it, taking its advice, um, maybe you do have a drug problem, I don't know. <laughs> I meet a lot, I travel quite a bit, and I meet people from all over, and like, oh my god, you're in Austin, you went to Velveeta, and that's so crazy. It's such a small world. I think we need to start shooting people that use this term, it's such a small world. These are the same people that use a GPS system to get their local 7-Eleven. <laughs> have these people ever walked across town? Like, have you ever tried that, walk across town? Like, there's nothing small about this world. <laughs> it's massive. Uh, let's see if I have anything else funny. Might as well go on a super high note. <laughs> My girlfriend's kind of like a half vegan. She eat, she doesn't eat meat. The only type of meat she eats is like freshly killed raw moose that's been bow hunted. It's kind of weird, but she's got some crazy philosophy about how the animal's wild and all this. But she drags me out to these restaurants all the time. You know, the vegan places, vegetarian, and they all have fake meat. I don't really know what the point of fake meat is if you can get it. I mean, we had fake duck the other night, and I'm like eating it. I'm like, yeah, it tastes like. I don't know, fake duck? I don't even know what duck tastes like. But I was thinking, if you're going to make fake meat, you might as well make fake meat that we can't have, like fake bald eagle, or like, I don't know. But man, the, the panda this time of year is delicious. It's in season. You know how much it costs to get a fake panda license? That's all I got. You guys have a good night.